So this is book two in my daily workout series for A-level physics, and I'm going to explain why this book is unique. So this book is unlike any other A-level physics book that I've seen before. The first way it's unique is the fact that every single day there are different questions for you to have a go at, and it's linked to a date. And this means that when you sit down to do some work, you know that within five minutes or so, you'll have completed that task, and therefore it's not an endless thing that just seems like a daunting amount of work. Yes, there's a lot of work in the book, but if you just spend five minutes a day, you're gonna get into good habits, and it means that nothing is too onerous. And this is gonna really help you as you start to understand the physics. So the first thing is that this book has a small amount of work for you to do every single day, going from November until the end of February. The second reason it's unique is I have certain other things in addition to the physics work that I can actually introduce you to at the right time. So going back into November, I've got a page here where I talk a little bit about the British Physics Olympiad. And I'm doing that in November because that gives you plenty of time to talk to your teachers to make sure that you get entered for the competition, the first one which is in January of year 12. Now, if you miss out about it, if you don't know about it, that means you can't really put it down on any university applications. Uh, and it's the kind of thing that you need to know about in plenty of time. So I've got uh, things there about the Olympiad. I've got eyes at physics, which by now in November, you should be aware of. But by having a book that's got stuff for each day, it means I can let you know about certain key events coming up as you go through your A-levels. And as we go into book three, there's going to be more stuff highlighted, maybe about university open days, about UCAS, about thinking about maybe some STEM courses that you could be applying for when you go to university. So that's what makes it unique. It's not just physics questions. It's designed to help you know and understand about the bigger picture of where A-level physics kind of uh, fits in. Now, the third thing that makes it unique is me and the videos that I make. It is not just a physical book that you do the answers in. I mean, that's part of it. But when you've actually had a go at a question, you can mark your own work just by looking in the back of the book where you can see there are full answers for every single question. But some of these are just numerical answers. And sometimes as a, you know, when it gets a little bit more complicated, you want to see how somebody else has got to that solution. So you can go to my website, which is alevelphysicsonline.com, and then you can download full work solutions for every single month. And on top of that, there's also gonna be a video where I explain how to actually do the physics and the way that I approach these kind of questions and similar questions in the future. So it is not just a book for you to write your answers in, it's a book which is fully backed up with video support over at A Level Physics Online. Now, there's nothing else that I found out there that is anywhere as good as this, in my personal opinion, um, but it's really up to you. If you think this could help you doing A-level physics, then you can buy a copy from Amazon. It might be that you're in year 12 and you're currently going through this and learning all this stuff for the first time, or you might even be a year 13 student who wants to have something to revise from. Because I reckon if you're uh, using this book for revision, you could probably complete all of the questions in a couple of weekends. And likewise, if you haven't already got book one, which was the first book, you can go and buy a copy of this. You can work through this in a couple of weekends, and that's gonna really cement that underlying deeper physics that everything else is built on. So yeah, that's why I think this book, The Daily Workout, is unique.